Hello, and welcome back to Searching the Archives. Today we're going to be reviewing the children's book, Dear Millie, which was written by Wilhelm Grimm and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Now, before you go, because I know what you're thinking, you're probably not a child if you're watching this video, so why should you stick around? Well, maybe you know a child, and maybe you know a child that needs a good book. I picked this up on eBay for about $8 secondhand. It came in great condition. It's got a really nice texture. And not only is the story good, the illustrations are gorgeous. Maurice Sendak is the famous illustrator of the book, Where the Wild Things Are, that children's book that we're all familiar with. So you know the pictures are gonna be great. The story itself is great too. It's about the human heart overcoming loss and grief and covering great distance in order to be reunited with the one uh, that they love. It's essentially a, a mother and a daughter, and there's a great and terrible war approaching, and you see the fire off in the distance. And in order to save her daughter, this mother sends her off into the forest uh, with a little bit of food. And 30 years go by, which feels like three days, uh, before the two are reunited. Uh, I won't spoil too much, uh, but I will say, uh, you know, there, there are thematic elements of violence, but I wouldn't let that steer you away from such a great story. Incidentally, one of the reasons I really like this story, uh, you know, it was recommended to me on a, a Catholic group chat, and there are Christian elements strewn throughout the story. The little girl is led through the forest by her guardian angel. You meet Saint Joseph. There's talk of prayer. There's talk of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you're raising children in this world, sometimes it feels like you have to choose. You have to choose the secular stories that have beautiful illustrations. They're you know, great to look at and captivating, or I, I can choose the religious stories, which obviously have a greater truth to them, especially if they're stories from the Bible. But sometimes it comes at the cost of production value. I think a good example of what I'm getting at is The Prince of Egypt. That is a movie where, you know, has a great soundtrack, good art direction, and, uh, you know, the stories, you know, Moses in the book of Exodus. So it has a religious truth. I think that is a good example of media that got it right. But it can be kind of hard to find stuff like that. I think this is one thing that we Christians could do better. Um, you know, we need to find those diamonds in the rough, find those stories and those hidden gems that, you know, you can show to your child and feel good about it, that draw out curiosity and, you know, provoke wonder and awe and, and just, you know, the world is a great and fascinating place. You know, it's, it's very incarnational, you know, God created the world and everything in it. And, you know, we're not to, to run from the world. We need to find the good in the world and pass that on to the next generation. I would highly recommend you pick this book up. Like I said, it's cheap. You can get it on eBay secondhand. You might find it at your local bookstore. You can't go wrong. Preview it. Make sure you feel comfortable with it, depending on the age of the kids you want to give it to. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.